Welcome to Smart Spectrum, where we share useful information about health and wellness. Today, we are going to talk about vitamin B12 deficiency, a common condition that can affect your body and mind in many ways. Vitamin B12 is an essential nutrient that helps your body make red blood cells, DNA, and nerve signals. It also works with other vitamins to support your metabolism, immune system, and brain function. You can get vitamin B12 from animal foods like meat, eggs, dairy, and fish, or from fortified foods like cereals and plant milks. According to the National Institutes of Health, the recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for vitamin B12 for adults is 2.4 micrograms per day. However, some people may not get enough vitamin B12 from their diet, or may have trouble absorbing it from their food. This can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency, which can cause a range of symptoms that may vary. Depending on the severity and duration of the deficiency, some of the most common symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency are fatigue. This is a feeling of tiredness, weakness, and lack of energy that does not improve with rest. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause fatigue because it reduces the production of red blood cells, which carry oxygen to your tissues. Without enough oxygen, your cells cannot function properly and you feel exhausted. Fatigue can also be caused by other conditions, such as anemia, thyroid problems, depression, or sleep disorders. According to the Mayo Clinic, fatigue is one of the first signs of vitamin B12 deficiency, and it can affect your daily activities and quality of life. Pale or yellow skin. This is a change in your skin color that makes you look pale or jaundiced. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause pale skin because it affects the formation of red blood cells, which give your skin a healthy color. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also cause yellow skin because it increases the level of a substance called bilirubin, which is a waste product of red blood cell breakdown. Bilirubin can build up in your blood and skin, giving you a yellowish hue. Pale or yellow skin can also be caused by other conditions, such as liver disease, kidney disease, or infections. According to the NHS, pale or yellow skin is a common symptom of vitamin B12 deficiency, and it can indicate a serious problem with your blood cells. Headaches. These are pain or discomfort in your head, scalp, or neck. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause headaches because it affects your nervous system, which sends signals to and from your brain. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also cause inflammation of the nerves, which can trigger headaches. Headaches can also be caused by other conditions, such as migraines, tension, sinus problems, or dehydration. According to Healthline, headaches are a possible symptom of vitamin B12 deficiency, and they can range from mild to severe. Depression. This is a mood disorder that makes you feel sad, hopeless, or worthless. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause depression because it affects your brain chemistry, which regulates your emotions. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also lower your levels of a hormone called serotonin, which is responsible for your happiness and well-being. Depression can also be caused by other conditions, such as stress, trauma, hormonal imbalance, or genetic factors. According to the American Journal of Psychiatry, vitamin B12 deficiency is associated with depression and supplementing with vitamin B12 can improve the symptoms and outcomes of depression, numbness or tingling. These are abnormal sensations in your hands, feet, or other parts of your body. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause numbness or tingling because it damages your nerves, which carry messages to and from your brain. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also cause a condition called peripheral neuropathy, which is a loss of sensation and function in your extremities. Numbness or tingling can also be caused by other conditions, such as diabetes, alcohol abuse, stroke, or multiple sclerosis. According to the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry, vitamin B12 deficiency is a common cause of peripheral neuropathy and it can lead to irreversible nerve damage if not treated. These are just some of the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, but there are many more. Some of the other symptoms include difficulty walking or balancing, 
memory loss or confusion, vision problems or eye damage, mouth ulcers or sore tongue, heart palpitations or chest pain, digestive problems or weight loss, infertility or birth defects as you can see, vitamin B12 deficiency can affect many different systems and organs in your body, and can have serious consequences if left untreated. That's why it's important to recognize the signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, and to seek medical help if you suspect you have it. The good news is that vitamin B12 deficiency can be easily diagnosed with a blood test, and can be treated with vitamin B12 supplements or injections. Depending on the cause and severity of your deficiency, you may need to take vitamin B12 for a short or long period of time, or even for life. Your doctor will advise you on the best course of treatment for your condition. If you want to prevent vitamin B12 deficiency, you should make sure you eat enough foods that contain vitamin B12, or take a supplement if you are at risk of deficiency. Some of the people who are at risk of vitamin B12 deficiency include vegans and vegetarians, who do not eat animal products, older adults, who have less stomach acid and intrinsic factor, which are needed to absorb vitamin B12 from food, people with digestive disorders, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or gastritis, which impair the absorption of vitamin B12 from food. People who have had surgery on their stomach or intestines, which may remove parts of the digestive tract that are involved in vitamin B12 absorption. People who take certain medications, such as metformin, proton pump inhibitors, or antacids, which can reduce the absorption of vitamin B12 from food. If you belong to any of these groups, you should talk to your doctor about your vitamin B12 status, and whether you need to take a supplement or get tested regularly. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. You never know who might benefit from this information. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. We post new videos every week on health and wellness topics that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.